exclusive. What, do you want me to yell it like I usually do? Come on. This is like a soft exclusive. Okay, fine. Exclusive! What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. Exclusive. It's more like a soft exclusive, I guess you could say, because, well, I mean, we kind of assumed that Billy Crudup, Crudup, he was going to reprise his role as Henry Allen in the Flash movie since, you know, he was already introduced in Justice League and hopefully we'll, yeah, he'll be done justice as well, though I don't know how much of, uh, how much he's in the actual movie or he's going to be in the Snyder Cut, but still, we have, um, we have, uh, of course, the headlines that were happening yesterday were strictly this from uh, the Hollywood Reporter. Billy crewed up and talks to join the Flash exclusive, and you know. But I mean, yeah, they actually got word. So it says uh, right here, Billy crewed up fresh off his Emmy win. Um, Fresh off his Emmy win. Hold on a sec. Sorry. Had a little bit of malfunction right there. Okay. Billy Crudup, fresh off his Emmy win for Apple's The Morning Show. I heard that's a really good show. Is in early negotiations to join Ezra Miller in the Flash Warner Brothers feature project based on the DC hero. Rejoin may be a better term here as Crudup has been associated with a long just, yeah, seriously, project since 2016. That's what it says right here. It's been four years. It's crazy how long this project has been on the table. You know, of course, he was always going to be part of it when uh, it came to Rick Fu. I can never say his last name, but, you know, Mr. Rick, that I still would love to see, you know, and hear everything that was happening in that Flash movie. And then, of course, when John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein also took it over, too, he was going to be part of that as well. But now... There's a whole new deal on the table, I guess, and uh, he's going to be a part of it. So it's nothing It's nothing too crazy. You know, when I saw this yesterday, I made the joke that, you know, you know, about the exclusive thing because, you know, me, I always make a joke about that word when it's uh, overused by by mainly mainly smaller stuff. Like when uh, all of us are trying to be like, hey, exclusive, I got I got the exclusive, exclusive, you know. But, um, you know, when it comes to The Hollywood Reporter, they probably actually did receive the information. I don't know. I don't know the whole logistics of that. I just hope the next exclusive in talks negotiations thing we hear is Kirstie Clemens. That would be nice because, I mean, I, I mean, there's an old article from Andy Muschietti that says he's, he still wants Kirstie Clemens to play his Iris West. So hopefully that's all still on the table. It's all still good. I mean, she wasn't on the call sheet, though, that, that was floating around at the end of last year, beginning of this year. So it is kind of up in the air, if you really think about it. I know we've had many discussions about it. Of course, there's the whole Ray Fisher thing. How much was he going to be included into this movie? Now he might not even be in it at all with everything that's happening. But uh, when it comes to this, I mean, Billy Crudup, I mean, I hope he does. Because, I mean, geez, when we saw the casting, I mean, in contrast to Ezra Miller, father and son, it was like, yeah, that totally believable. There's Henry. There's Barry. They, Yeah. What's Norg? Uh, yeah, what, you know, <sighs> it's all going to be good. But uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens with all that. But uh, uh, I'm sure he's going to play a pretty crucial role, of course, in this movie uh, a little bit more, of course, than uh, Justice League. I doubt there was any real much more. I mean, <sighs> ugh, I can go totally on a whole tangent about certain things, but it's fine. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just basically just reporting the news of that. Of that is happening. And, you know, I'm pretty sure that, you know, Mr. Billy right here, he's not going to pass this up. He's, of course, going to want to be in this movie, you know? I mean, I, I, I assume that's why he, like, originally signed on for it, and it sounds like this movie's going to be batshit crazy, so why not be a part of that? And it's just, we all are hoping that Billy shows up. That's right. So, there you go, guys. That's what was happening today, and that was just uh, my two cents about it. I hope, he, uh, I hope we actually get word that he is, in fact, in the movie. I just want to know. I can't wait for the first day of shooting. We see, like, a picture from Andy Muschietti or somebody that shows a slate or something like that. That's what I want to see, guys, because we've been, you know, like, to that 2016, and it's like four years. <laughs> four years that we've been wanting to know, like, when this movie was actually going to be begin production and where, where, where it's going to head and everything. And, I mean, I can only imagine all the scripts. There must be, like, a huge stack of scripts of all these different stories that, you know, just take those stories and put them in the books. 
Why not? You know, just do that. Don't ever waste something. Can <laughs> just put it in the books, make it animated. I don't know. Do something with those scripts that are just like, you know, sitting on a table somewhere. And uh, but hopefully what Moose Getty is like cooking up, which obviously does sound batshit crazy, um, given that Keaton is coming back. And of course, Affleck's coming back. Now, the biggest thing that a lot of people were actually talking about yesterday, and obviously it's bleeding into today, is does this make if he does sign on, if he does in fact he's in there, the fact that he's in talks, does this make the Flash movie canon to the Snyderverse? Now, we kind of briefly talked about it, I think, yesterday in the vodka stream. Notice how I said I think. <laughs> I wonder why I have little, you know, blank spots in last night. In three and a half hours, guys, you know, drinking vodka. Sometimes it happens, just saying. But um, a lot of people are wondering about that, and I'm just kind of going, I mean, yes, we could have the same actors play the same characters, but does it necessarily mean it's canon? Not necessarily. I mean, we know for a fact, and even Snyder said it himself, his Snyderverse on HBO Max is its own thing, it is its own thing. The fact of the matter of that, the fact that they're embracing that and using similar characters, using the same actors to play those characters, that's pretty cool. So, I mean, I'll give that at least. but um. But you know, I, I I wouldn't necessarily. I mean, when you look at like Aquaman, it's like yeah, that can be canon. It's there is some connective tissue, but you can see the differences, which is just like any comic book. You know, you got the same characters, two different artists, two different writers using the same characters, but they may, may they might look different, or you know, it's maybe not necessarily full on canon, which is good. That's what I'm, I'm liking the direction that they're going. It's like. Not everything has to be connected. Not everything like the MCU when you have to see the previous movie to understand what's going on in this movie and the, the setting up too much of that. That's That can get frustrating when it comes to the MCU and a lot of you will probably agree with that. It's like, okay, wait, I got to see what now? Okay, before I see Infinity War, what do I got to see? And then, you know, you try to tell, you're like, well, you don't have to see that. Yeah, but, you, you know, and you're trying to tell people you're looking like Charlie Day and always suddenly trying to connect to everything and stuff like that. So, you know, it's... Instead, you're Charlie Day in a different way when you're trying to explain the multiverse like I did in that one video. But uh, now I hope uh, we get confirmation that he's actually going to full on sign on and uh, we'll get that news next. And then, of course, Kersey Clemens and who knows what's going to happen with Ray Fisher stuff. But anyways, guys, that's my two cents on the whole thing. Let me know your thoughts about it down below. What do you think about all this? Hit that like thumbs up button. If you'd be so kind, hit that notification bell, too, so you know when I'm doing this stuff. Then, of course, I got all the uh, sock meds, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook to follow me on. Patreon, if you want to be uh, a supporter of the Film Junkie Empire. And uh, shirts down below, too, guys. All right. Talk to you later.